What's up gamers? Hey once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game and Rebirth DL channel. So what do we have today? Today we have the 3.65 Hankaku Enzo Updater. Now we will be updating the Adrenaline to version 6.1. We will be updating Vita Shell version 1.82. Also the plugins non-PDRM, download enabler, and the game card micro SD. Now that's only if you have your micro SD as UXO. Also, remember this does not allow you to hack your console. That is on former past 3.60. You would need to be on firmware 3.60 in order to use this software. So this will allow you to play newer games up to 3.65. We begin with going to the flows repository. Now you can get the files here for adrenaline, the game card micro SD, Vita shell, non NPDRM and the download enabler. Now the flow has updated all this information to be compatible with version 3.65 and 3.67 so we'll get our adrenaline vpk we will get vita shell vpk non pdrm download enabler and the game car micro sd once we have all our files ready to go we connect our playstation vita via usb using vita shell now we will do all this before we update to 3.65 so we transfer our VPKs to the root of the PlayStation Vita okay now on the plugins we will access our plugins folder you know I have it in the root of the PlayStation Vita so I'm just going to transfer the non PDRM the game SD and download enabler to my plugins folder so now you guys see that I have my information in there that's all we need to do right now okay so we go to the instructions now we will download the updater.bpk and the pup file now if you're using 3.60 Hankaku Enso, we will uninstall all plugins and uninstall the Enso patch and also we will unlink the memory card to the PlayStation Vita. So now since we downloaded two new files, we're going to connect our PlayStation Vita to the PC and we're going to transfer the updater.bpk. Okay, so we copy that to the root of the PlayStation Vita, the updater VPK, and the PUP file. We're going to put it under app and we're going to create a folder called update365 and then we're going to transfer that PUP file. So we go to the app folder. Now if you don't see it, remember to unhide your folders or unhide hidden items. So we access the app and then we're going to create a folder called update365. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then we're going to transfer that PUP file inside that folder. So now technically we're ready to go. We will need to work on the PlayStation Vita from now on. We move on to the PlayStation Vita. Now you can see the Vita shell is on 1.78. If you try to update via Vita Shell, you will get an error. So you will need to install the newest Vita Shell through Molecular Shell. Okay, so now we go down and try to install Vita Shell.bpk, and now you will see that you don't get an error. So remember molecular shell to install beta shell update information. If we access beta shell, we will see that it's 1.82. That's pretty cool. We got beta shell updated. It's really important for you to update beta shell first. Okay, we're just going to install adrenaline.bpk. Okay, so technically we're almost ready. We're like halfway there. Now we're going to install the updater.bpk 
and then I'm just going to turn off my PlayStation Vita okay so you guys will see that once I launch Hankaku Enso Updater it will tell me to disable all my plugins so I launch my Vita shell and then you guys know that I have my config text under URO so I go to tie and then config text and then you guys can see that under kernel I have pound under all my plugins now I don't need those last two so I'm going to delete them or you can just put pound next to it it'll disable the plugins okay that's all what we need to do here and then I rebooted the system okay and now we're going to unlink the memory card okay then I turn off my console I don't know if you have to turn it off but it worked for me so now if I launch the 3.65 Hankaku Enso updater now it says please uninstall Enso first before updating now unlink the memory card now I had already unlinked my memory card so now I'm gonna launch Enso the original one and I'm going to press circle okay once you press circle it's going to tell you to press triangle to uninstall the hack once you press triangle it'll run it by itself then you press any button and it'll reboot the PlayStation Vita now we can run the 3.65 Enso updater now I got an error but it's because I don't have Hankaku installed so I'm going to run molecular shell and install as like the old times or you can go to the website and run Hankaku Enso now it gave me another error that it said that it was not finding the PUP file but you guys saw previously that we did transfer it no matter since we have our new Vita shell we can go ahead and launch it and connect via USB Uh, I was just double checking to see if I had the folder under UXO app. You guys see that the folder is there. But for some reason the PUP file was not in there. So I connected my PlayStation Vita to the PC via USB. And then I transferred the PUP file to the folder update 365. Okay, so that's all we need to do. We just need to make sure we have the PUP file within that folder. Now remember to go to Hankaku settings and unlink the memory card. Now I turn off the console. Okay, so now after turning off the console, then don't touch anything else, but go to the Enkaku Enso Updater 3.65, and we launch it. We also get an error. Remember to run Molecular Shell and install Enkaku via the web browser. Okay, so now we're going to install the information. If you don't get molecular shell, press R and then it'll install it for you. Okay, so now let's try to run it again. There you guys have it. Hankaku Enso Updater 
now you're about to install the custom firmware to 3.65 and so so if you agree then you press X now it'll make permanent modification if you accept the terms and conditions then you press X and it'll run its installer it might take a while so just take a moment to get a drink or something do not touch the PlayStation Vita make sure you have it connected it's better alright so safe trip and see you on the other side by the flow so it'll start updating the PlayStation Vita as you can see it is kinda scary at first but being the flow don't worry now we can go to system information and you guys can see 3.65 I don't know if it was kind of weird how I did it, but it worked for me. So hopefully it works for you. Maybe it serves for you guys to see the errors that I got. It's pretty cool. It's awesome guys. Amazing. And so updater. Now we can play higher former games, which is pretty cool. Okay, so now for you guys to see version 1.82 Vita Show it's so important to update Vita Show before you do the updater now we're going to install Adrenaline and remember to enable unsafe homebrew that's why it did not allow me to install it in the first place so make sure you have enable unsafe homebrew and spoof version 3.67 for future reference Now we're going to install the famous Adrenaline from the Flow so that we can play our PSP games. You guys can see that the PSP games are working, which is pretty cool. I mean the Flow doesn't get tired to amaze us, he's pretty cool. Okay so now I'm going to try my games that I installed via Package GI. You guys can see that the plugin NumPDRM is working. It launches the game, which is pretty cool. Just a little test that this works. Now I was able to log into the PSN and download my game, so you can download games for now. Also, the download enabler just testing it out you guys can see that I am able to download files via the internet which is which is pretty cool okay so we have two plugins down now I did not test that the games SD because I don't have a micro SD card as UXO but it should work as well once you put the path in the config text okay so you guys can see that my config text is under URO I'll go ahead and leave this in the description how I put mine UXO plugins on PDRM under kernel and main plugins download enabler I just wanted to show you guys that I don't have no tie folder in UXO now you guys can see my plugins are in there as well under UXO also I wanted to show you guys under the download folder that I was able to download the file which is pretty cool so guys if this helped remember to hit like subscribe comment share with your friends as always gamer rebirth out